Hi, I'm going to show you how to use unknowns in the organic laboratory right now. There are two basic ways to do it here. The clipboard allows you to pull up practice unknowns and random unknowns. Practice unknowns are split up into functional groups, and you can just click on a functional group, and then on the shelf will appear an unknown with a number on it. You can look up these numbers in your answer guide as an instructor, so the student will perform all the tests they need to do, determine what their unknown is, and then report that to you. The random unknowns, when a student clicks on those, prepare a round bottom flask with an unknown with no number on it. So the student would do all the tests, determine what they think they have, and then the way to determine what they have is by clicking on the lab book, clicking report, and then entering what they think they have. So they think they have that, they submit it, then the answer is revealed to them along with this report link over here. They could then save this file and send it to you, and then you can open it up and see what they guessed and what it actually was <clears throat> for these unnumbered unknowns. So that's the way you can use those. When you use the Blackboard itself, all of these functional groups have an unknown on the shelf. This unknown matches the exact same unknown that would be um, given to the students if they were to pull up the practice unknowns, ketones, it's the exact same unknown. So that's the same way to access those numbered unknowns. Hope this helps.